I want a large volume. I want a huge database. I want people reaching out to me because I built such a brand. How do you handle buyers whose preferences constantly change with every show and appointment? How do you avoid going around in circles with the buyers? Do you use any persuasion techniques with buyers who are indecisive throughout the house? The house hunting process. Cool. So literally, I don't care. Straight up, like, to be honest, like, <laughs> most of my answers will be I don't care because I really don't about most anything. Why? Because I'm not focusing on that one buyer, right? It's about quantity and what? Quality. I mean, quality and what? Quantity. I want a volume. I want a large volume. I want a huge database. I want people reaching out to me because I built such a brand. Now you guys aren't there yet. You haven't built your brand. You don't have your database. So what do we need to be doing? Developing our database to get to the point where we do have this huge database of people we're building brand with to where we then have people calling us. Like, you know, you need to build that point. As far as a buyer who's indecisive, let them be undecisive. We're here to help them, right? We're gonna tell them what we think. We're gonna say, look, you know, we've been looking all, we've been looking for days now. You switch from this, you switch to that. Let, just tell me what you want, okay? You know, we, we've been driving around and all this, we looked at all these houses, now that we've seen all this, can you tell me what you want now so that we can just go find that? You know, sometimes you might be a little blunt with them because you gotta remember, you have to treat these people as if they were an extended part of your family. And once you make that connection, you shouldn't necessarily be shy or timid to actually say what you feel. Because wouldn't you tell your mom or dad what you really feel or your brother, sister, or cousin? You know, of course, we wouldn't wanna do that the first day, but at some point we're gonna we're gonna tell them how we feel about things but at the same time we know that after this showing okay we showed them for three hours yesterday okay but we went back to the office and we made 300 phone calls okay we picked up six new clients right one is interested in doing something soon the other five maybe in a year or two okay the next day we showed the same buyers for three hours different properties because they're so undecisive but after that three hour session, we went back to the office, made 300 more calls, talked to 11 people, right? Had 11 incredible conversations. See what I'm saying? So like, it doesn't matter that buyer, what that buyer does, okay? And here, here's the punchline before we get to the next question. That buyer, regardless if they buy or sell or not, if you show them that you really care about them, they're gonna come, if they don't buy, they're gonna come back to you in a year or two and refer 15 people to you over the next 10 years because they saw, they know how hard you worked even though they weren't even really ready to buy anything. And they're like, man, that, I can't believe all the work that Ricky did trying to help me knowing that I probably wasn't gonna buy anything. He's our agent for life. And I'm gonna refer every single person I know to him. See, that's where you win. And that's where this long-term versus short-term thinking really comes into play. Because a lot of you are just trying to get paid. And you don't realize you're going to get paid off those 300 phone calls you made after you showed those properties. And you might get paid off the buyer you showed to, maybe, maybe not. See what I'm saying? So, like, you got it, like I said, work your business up to where you have like 20 to 30 possibilities at all times. That buyer's one possibility. The, the one that said they might do something soon on that phone call session that day, that's another. So, that's two possibilities. These are possibilities. You need 20 to 30 of those going on at once so that you can close three to five deals a month.